The Iraq War was a protracted armed conflict that began in 2003, ending in 2011, beginning with the initial invasion of Iraq, which resulted in the overthrow of Saddam Hussein, Iraq's then dictator. Today we will be going over a universal infantry men kit, which can be used both for the U.S. Army and the United States Marine Corps, more specifically between 2003 and 2004. All information that will be provided in this video is of my own extensive research between talking to veterans and reading first-hand accounts of the initial invasion of Saddam's Iraq. The basic combat utility uniform comprises of the tricolor desert uniform, known officially as DCU, or affectionately known as coffee stain. For conventional Army and Marine Corps units, the American flag, completely colored, is on the right arm sleeve, near the top of the scene, and the unit patch on the left side respectively. For name tapes and such, the soldier's name would be on the right side, above the pocket, and on the right side, the branch of service with any tabs turned such as airborne wings, ACIB, aerosol tabs, and etc. A side note for the Marine Corps, the EGA, or the Eagle Globe and Anchors, would be printed on the left utility pocket. The DCU pants is self-explanatory. For the secondary uniform items, an OD green undershirt, an OD green belt, and also OD green socks are in order as well. For the boots, look for Generation 3 combat boots. They are defined by the heavy sole. These boots may be uncomfortable for those who have never worn boots, especially government contract ones. For the helmet in the vest, the PASCAT system were in order. Some units had the interceptor body armor system for the initial invasion. For the cover of the vest, it would be a woodland. The helmet cover would be DCU. Any additional items that can be added is a night vision base plate and the respective J-arm. As for load bearing equipment goes, the LBE vest would be appropriate for almost all impressions during this time period. During the initial invasion of 2003, it was suspected that Saddam's forces would possibly use chemical weapons against U.S. forces, which caused the United States to use MOP equipment, MOP, or Mission-Oriented Protective Posture Equipment, would include of the top and bottom. For the initial invasion, it would both be woodland. As for the gas mask, the M40 protective mask would be in order. This also includes the gas mask bag and also any filters that would come with said mask. Additional items could possibly include a camelback, which is a water carrying system, which can either have the cover in DCU or woodland. As for eyewear for the impression, we can either use the ESS goggles with a black cover, or we can possibly use the Vietnam era goggles as well. And last but not least, the weapon. The weapon that the United States military commonly used at the time was the M16A2, with also M4 being phased in near the end of the initial invasion period. These weapons were usually very barren or scarce, not including any optics, but certain units in the invasion had night vision scopes, and certain soldiers would often modify their weapons in order to accommodate the certain combat situations that they were in, such as flashlights, Overall, for this impression, it is not very costly. The most costly item that you will possibly have to look forward to is the helmet, and also the vest itself. Other than that, this is a very easy impression to get into, and also there is a lot of information on the initial invasion. If you have any questions or comments about the current loadout, please leave them down below.